Hello everybody, you have successfully turned the video around to Side B. If you haven't checked out Side A yet, then please click the link up here. And otherwise we will continue with more first impressions of the games included in this month's Humble Choice. So let's go! This unsponsored bit of content is brought to you by Robin's Q. Boy, I don't want your juice in my face. <laughs> this is Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion. <laughs> If that title doesn't make you laugh, then I don't know, man. I don't know. This is an adventure game with clean looking pixelated graphics and I'm assuming a ton of humor. So I am more than ready. Oh, cutesy. Hello. Z to select. Oh God, where's my controller? I had to play the flying game without a controller too. Where the frick is the thing? <sighs> Look at that, I actually found it. <laughs> I've been looking for this thing ever since I moved. Anyway, tax bill. You owe a ton of property tax for your greenhouse. You have until like yesterday to pay for it. So you to pay, we'll give Mary Onion the deed to your house, not Mayor Onion. Rip it up. Thank you very much. Oi, turn it boy. You really screwed yourself. Huh? What do you mean what? You give me the tax evasion. Huh? Bring me back a bag of fertilizer as proof or you'll be sleeping with the rotten. He literally, wow. Okay, why is there a button for me to trip? Ow, why is that a thing? Hello, old man. It's a lemon. Hello, chat. Have you seen my watering can? Our turnip guy is a little creepy, not saying anything. Oh, watering can. Used to be old man's lemons. Um, sorry, man. I'm taking this, apparently. Um, can I use this? Take this, old man. Take this. Oh. Hi! I'm a blueberry! You're a turnip! Goodbye! Whoa, these guys look serious. This is an IRS operation. We need to secure the area before you pass through here. IRS? Incredible reddish surface? Impossible round shapes? Incoherent rambling syndrome? <laughs> Watch out for snails, they're vegetarians. Oh no, not the snails. Don't eat me, snails. Get out of here. Oh no, snail. Oh, Jesus, snail. Hello. Hi, turnip boy. I've been traveling around the farmland, exploring the forest around it, and I found something cool. Up ahead is a rare Planticus sordicus. If you have the second, check it out. A Planticus sordicus? I want a sword. Planticus sordicus. Soil sword. I've never had this before. This is new. I expected we had to be on the run all the time because of the tax evasion, but apparently we're just doing jobs for the mayor instead of paying our taxes. Hello. Welcome to Way Sandwich, home of the tier three sub. Can I take your order? Business has just been really slow. I wish I could get someone famous to eat our sub on, say, a live stream or something. Hello. Bustling barn, who are you? Sub gamer, I'm Mayor Onion's assistant, but you can call me by my gamer tag, SlayQueen32. Whoa, I've got some bad news. Oh, we can't get in. So here's a list of things that you have to rip up. So everything that you rip will be there. And if we find hats, they will also be here, apparently. There are gonna be hats that were to be found. Where the frick do I go? DLC hat. I found my first hat right here. Yes, we're wearing a hat now. Awesome. First hat has been found. Oh, you want me to bring this letter to your girlfriend or whatever? Oh, uh, we can pay our taxes together. Rip it up. Tier 3 sub. She wants a literal tier 3 sub. Oh, thanks for the tier 3 sub. I don't need necessarily want your autograph, but that's okay. That's that's fine. I oh, that's so nice. Rip it up. Hello, I'm here for a job of some sort. This is so weird, man. Run! Run! Okay, well, that's that. Highly effective plans. Oh my god, what is all this death? Get out of here. Out of here, please, with your death. How to do your taxes? I wrapped up the whole book? Oh my god, yes. Oh, literally kicked them. Oh, there you go. That is useful. This is very nice. This is very... Oh my god. Um, sword, please. Die, pig. Wow, it's so aggressive. I trust nothing. I trust absolutely nothing in this world. Oh, fuck. Finally, they sent a search party. Yeah, what do you think I've been doing here? No food, no water for three days. They must be exhausted. <gasps> It's a pig with a crown. Oh no, oh, ate a ton of fertilizer. That must not be okay. Boss fights, uh, not what I expected. Um, out of my face, biggie. Oh, this is fine. We're gonna be fine. Here, I can even water this and smooch this against him. Oh my lord. Um, there you go, wow, it's epic death. I mean, this was only the first boss fight, right? They're probably gonna get harder, but man, boss fights? I didn't even expect boss fights. What the hell, man? What are these floating towels? It's bacon? It's bacon? Wow. Okay, not what I expected. Um, can I have some of this, please? Wow. <gasps> Heart fruits. Yes. 
Got another heart token, guys. This is nice. Upgraded ourselves somehow. And we got some fertilizer. Bam! Man. Some boss fights, some fertilizer, smooth gameplay, cute music, cute graphics, and just overall absolute freaking silliness, right? This is an enjoyable little game. Excited! This is Wrath, Aeon of Ruin. This is a hardcore first-person shooter made in the Quake 1 engine, meaning this is an intense throwback to way back in the day. And I love it. I want this so badly, and I want this to be awesome. So let's jump in and see. Ooh, well, this looks pro. Oh, Lord. Can I slicey? You can slicey. A right mouse button, jump, and then... Oh, ooh. Oh, you soul tab it. Save game. Hello. Wow. This is something. And I'm so used to newer games these days that I really have to get used to this again. Wow, it's very dark. Are there... Oh, enemies. Get out of my way. Oh, no. Splash you. Wow. This is quite effective. Yes, we can smash things. Awesome. I am liking this. There we go. Hi. Oh, you're still alive. Oh, God. Not what I expected. First gun. And we're gonna have to use it, apparently. Um, please, come this way. Yeah, this plays really nicely. Wow. Whoa, what the hell are you guys? Ow, ow. That was my face, you hell thing. Oh, God. Anybody else want some? Seriously, does anybody else want some? Because, I mean, there is some more if you want to. Ooh, another weapon. Yes. 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 Get out of my way. Oh, yes. Can I kill you with this too? I can. Wow, this is a very effective sword unit. Whoa, just go right through you. Bye. It is very, very dark though. And I crank the brightness up just a tad. I hope this is a little bit better. This might actually be a little bit too light. Oh my God. What the hell is that? What are those floating things? What the hell are those floating things? I have not been saving the game. I need to get the hell out of here is what I need to do. What do you mean you spawn in front of my face? What's that all about? Oh my god, new ones are spawning. Oh, they're literally spawning. No, thank you. This sword thing is so strong. It is ridiculous. I barely feel the need to use my guns because this thing is so strong. What the hell? An elevator? Okay, well, there are elevators here too, apparently. Oh my god. Hi. I don't know you. I don't want to know you. Do it somewhere else, man. Dump your acid somewhere else. I need health. I need health like yesterday, man. I'm not here. What are you even talking about, guys? Where are you trying to shamble off to? Stop your shambling, please. This is an anti-shamble zone, sir. So we're picking up these white skull things so that we can plop down soul tethers and that is your save point, which is very, very nice, very enjoyable. I am kind of missing a cool soundtrack right now. That is what I would want. Boy, I don't want your juice in my face. <laughs> Seriously. <gasps> New weapon? What is that thing? What? Get out of my way. Get out of my way, noobs. Oh my god, what the hell is that thing? What the hell are you? What the hell? Run, run us. You are huge. Is what you are. You're also dead, so we're fine. Oh my god, my weapon is empty. That's bad timing on the weapon emptiness. Get out of my way. Oh my god. Man, those things have no chill. Even when they die, there is just the amount of chill they have is just none the only thing that's lost on me is the direction i have to specifically go in but then again maybe i'm just too used to being pampered with all these modern games just showing you the freaking way and giving you the key without you even having to think about anything i have a blue glyph do you want it door would you like my blue blue glyph? okay the door actually does want my gl blue glyph my bl blue glue glyph my blue, blue, oh my lord. Oh man, they just explode whenever they come close to you. Oh my god, I'm almost dead. The last time I saved was 10 million years ago. I will just save right here. And then, ooh, health. Yes, please. What is this place? What the hell? Where am I now? I need a red glyph probably for that door. Bam, wow, okay, effective pistol. Look at that. It sounded very different, but oh my God. Oh my God, they are different, run! Oh my God, just run away, Joe, oh, I don't know, oh my God, oh my God. What the hell are you guys? Why are you so fast? Oh my God, you're not pretty at all. I, oh, 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 oh. Okay, well, they're dead now, bye. And I'm just gonna go out there and say that this sword thing is literally the strongest weapon that you can use in this game it is ridiculous it kills everything in one blow maybe except for that giant one. Oh my god no oh my god no oh my god no oh my god no what the hell is you what is you i don't know what you was but uh you is no more you is new one okay well now there are two of them i thought i was done but no i'm dead this game is a lot of fun and it's not even done yet i forgot to mention but it's still an early access so please keep that in mind but other than that man this game is cool 
I hope there's going to be more weapons, but the variety is already pretty nice. The enemy variety is really cool. Apparently, there are some boss things as well. I am enjoying this thoroughly. But if they're still going to update this, and this is not even the finished product yet, but if you like shooters from this time period, man, I can only recommend this. This is just awesome, and I am definitely going to play more of this, because this is my type of thing. Mm, I'm liking this so much. Jasmania! Timeline. Timeline. I see what they did there. I see. This is Timeline. It's an adventure strategy puzzle game where we are going to solve puzzles. That's all I know. It has overwhelming positive reviews though, so that tells us something. This was one of the games I was really looking forward to, so. Oh, we wake up? Unless this is her normal home situation, I would be more concerned about this. Huh. Move the camera and zoom, and we can walk. Okay, interesting. Hello, what's this? Oh, we opened the door. Nice, that's very useful. Let's go. Now we can just run to the door. This immediately makes me think of those Go games, like Hitman Go, and they had a Tomb Raider one, and they had a Deus Ex one, if I recall correctly. I quite like those little puzzle games. They're, they were nice, simple, but nice. Ooh, what's this? What is... <gasps> ah, it's magic. Of course... Oh my god, it really is magic. Oh my god. Um, Space to use power. What? We have time powers. Okay, so we have time powers now. Ooh, there's another power thing. Well, we grabbed something. I don't know what it is or why we have to grab it, but we have it, right? There we go. Simple puzzle. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Activate powers. Yes. Okay, so you have to pick up a new crystal in order to do the power. And headaches. Oh no, she has migraine or something? What's going on? Oh my god, that's okay. Migraine it is, I would say. Oh, what is that? Why are you? No, no. Oh, I want none of you. Oh my god. Oh my god, there are so many of them. How did, we, how did they wake up? We woke them up with our headache powers. The power of migraine. What's going on here? <gasps> oh god, run. Run us. Run faster. Us. Oh god. Oh, she's not gonna make it. They're so. Oh wow. A chess piece. Okay. Chess pieces are falling from the sky. Apparently, that's normal. Girl, run. Yes, chess pieces all around. I'm actually not doing anything. This is all just chess piece mania, apparently. Oh no! Chess piece mania. Oh god. This is why chess mania is only once in every 10 years. Ooh, what's this? We can rewind. Yes, I am rewinding. Oh, and now it's going to play out the way we said it was going to play out after it happened. This is very similar to games we played in the bundle before. What was that called again? It was from last month, wasn't it? Okay, we can observe the enemy routine and we have to sneak out at the right time. Look at him go. Waiting for the robot to come back. Hey, robot's gonna run away from you if you don't mind. What is this? You can look always at all times. What, what, did, what was that? Here, what is this? You're just doing a you're you can you're like an owl. What's great is that rewatching what you just did is just not as cool in this game. If I think of other games that do something similar, you did something cool or like reflexes were really awesome, so you can see your moves. But in this game, you're just doing a puzzle. And it's not like you had amazing reflexes at one point. So I don't know. There hasn't been any story or anything, but I am very curious. Whoa, it's a cat. Hello, you cutie. That is a big door. A biggest door is. Whoa, that opens for us. There there you go. Go towards the lights, my child. Or not. This seems a little harder than whatever we did before. Whoa, we got pink smooch. I love this color. I'm enjoying this. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Go fix that. Robot person, could you please not turn around at the wrong moment? No, why? Robot person, why? Run, girl, run. And this robot is evil. No, this robot has everything vision. He has everything vision. He really does. Go, 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 go. Fix this and grab the pink purple smooch. There we go. There you go. Oh, absolutely stunning. Whoa, 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 whoa. So it kind of resets the level, but it does fix the bridges. So now you can actually finish the level. Interesting mechanic. There we go. There we go. Yes, yes, yes. We are there. This is it. Bird cage unit thing. That will be needed. I mean, clearly this is what we needed. Why would you go through all the trouble if you did not need this? Ooh, and then we have to do this and then probably activate a new door and then we'll continue this adventure. Very mysterious. Very cool. So yeah, that's the type of puzzles you're gonna get. So you're moving along these grid based levels, trying to avoid the enemies, trying to manage your timeline. It's pretty straightforward, but this is really intriguing. Chapter two. Ooh, this looks really cool. I'm going to play more of this, but I will let you guys discover the rest for yourself. Gotta keep going. This is Wingspan. It's a video game based on the wildly popular Wingspan, the board game that I have actually played multiple times and quite enjoyed. So let me explain to you guys how this game plays, shall we? So Wingspan is a two to five player game. You can also play it solo with an automata if you want to, which is also 
also in the video game. Right now we're looking at a two player game with an AI. The game starts with you having five cards and availability to food. You can only choose five things to start with. So two cards, three pieces of food, one card, four pieces of food, and so on and so forth. And you can choose one bonus card like this one here that we're going to choose where a bird that needs anything gives us two points at the end of the game. The game is played over four rounds and every round you have to put in one of these cubes. You have eight cubes to start with in the first round but after the first round the second round will be done with seven cubes the third one with six cubes and the fourth one with five cubes so each round is actually a little shorter than the previous and at the end of the round you will check out these little bonus tiles which is also at the top right i'll smooch my face out of the way so you can see it which is also a way of you getting points at the end of the rounds and of course the person with the most points wins the game on your turn you can place your cube to do several actions for instance here in the forest you are able to get food so if i place a cube here i can grab one die from the bird feeder here on the right and choose any one of the available foods you can also go here to the grass fields where you are able to get eggs eggs you can play on your bird cards once you played them and you can also go to the water where you are able to draw new cards either from the pool that is visible and available or blindly from the stack the interesting thing is, is that these places can be upgraded by placing birds there so for instance here at the waterfront i only can draw one card if i put a cube there now but if i put a bird here the second one will actually become available then i'm able to draw one card or a second card if i pay an egg as you can see here on the card on the top left you can see where we can place the card and what we have to pay for it in this case it is either a worm or a grain this bird doesn't give us any points but when activated we draw two cards and if we do we discard one from our hand at the end of our turn but as you can see at the bottom we can put five eggs on this little ruddy duck so then we go to this top one and then we are able to play a bird from our hand which is what we will do so we'll play the ruddy duck right here and we will pay with the wormy bam oh well i mean that's not in the board game that's really nice the music is also very very nice by the way the music is nice it looks really really nice this is really cool and this is generally what you do trying to get as many points as possible throughout all the rounds now we would love to play the second card on this second slot here in the waterfront which is great for our bonus at the end of the round but i can't as you can see here on the top i would have to be able to pay an egg and able to do that which i am unable to we would have to do this action to get that luckily we are able to let's just go do this action and we select the bird to lay the eggs there we go and now we're able to play this bird we pay the food and there we go now we can do this action meaning we can draw two cards which is actually better than only drawing one there we go two new cards and now this is the thing so now i activated this power meaning that all the cards that are before that will now also be activated one at a time so i just did this power now we can draw two more cards because that's the power of the last bird we have which is actually really really useful Oh, you can also view the game as if you're playing the board game. Oh, look at that. Guess we'll just lay some more eggs. We desperately need more eggs in this area, right? For the end of the round. Bonus thing. Bam, there we go. So now we get a bunch of points. And our opponent apparently did not so well. The next thing we're going to try and do is as many birds with a certain nest symbol. As you can see here on the card on the left side, under feathers, you see a little symbol, which is a little bowl in this case, or little eggies. There are five different ones of that. That represents the nest. And in this case, we need to try and have as many birds with that bowl symbol and we only have one as you can see here we only have two options from the bird feeder right now two fish but if there are only two fish we can re-roll because you only have one option so we can re-roll all the dice and see if we can get something else which is great for us because we needed this thank you we need more bowl birds so let's try and see if we can get some anna's hummingbird that is one is really pretty look at you i will play this bird yep Anna's there we go Beautiful. There we go. Beautiful. More birds. Oh, dang it. I was super close though. What do you mean I got no points? But yeah, you just keep doing this till the end of the game and then you tally up all the points and that's it. There are some more nuances to the game that I did not get into, but you can discover those for yourself. But this is a really nice game. I recommend the board game, but this video game is really, really nice. The music is really nice. The artwork is very, very pretty. The voiceover is really nice. And I looked at the tutorial and it seems to be doing a really good job of teaching you the game a lot better than whatever I tried try to do so yeah that's a good jump in point nice just one more this is due process a tactical pvp fps game where we plan our moves on a map before we go in and execute this plan where one team will be inside and one team will be outside of a randomly generated map these procedurally generated maps are supposed to be super surprising because they updated every week plus the game is still in early access so keep that in mind too and since this is multiplayer only i brought a friend along i am playing with fubuki 990 hello both not looked at a game yet so uh... from that first trailer it kind of looked like 
like scuffed Rainbow Six Siege. I love it. Oh, there is a training though. This is a lot more pixelated than I expected, to be honest. I like this style, honestly. I thought it was more cell shaded when I looked at the trailer. This looks almost more low polygon than anything else, right? Get out of here, you chairman. Graphics look bad and good at the same time. Yes, right? Fancy shit. I have a f that flashlight does nothing. It's a good thing we also have night vision. That's a, a lot of uh, different oh my weapons. God wide range of weapons i like it right right yeah huge variety already you know what i also find weird it somehow makes me think of a worse looking borderlands yeah kind of i don't know if we can just play with two i don't know this is why i brought you along because uh i need somebody to do the talking to strangers <laughs> Play 15 more casual matches to unlock ranked mode. Okay, so there is a ranked mode too. God, these guys are... Yeah, I just wanted to say, like, these people know their stuff. And we are here not knowing our stuff at all. Um, everybody is grabbing weapons, so I feel like I should just do whatever they're doing. I have no clue what to do. But, but oh no, oh no. All these people are going to be so disappointed in us, man. This is nothing like the trailer. Get out of the bus, man. Get out of the bus. What do you... <laughs> I don't know. How it's, do I get out? We just did it. You didn't grab a weapon, did you? No, no. <laughs> Are you okay? I, I, I don't know. Am I okay? I don't think I am okay. Okay, well, I, I grabbed a weapon. Oh my god, I threw a grenade. I'm sorry. Can we go back into the bus? Because I desperately need bullets. Yeah, I can do absolutely nothing. The weapons that I had in the training mode, they're floating around me, and I, I can't move. Let me just show you what I'm looking at. We start then. No, my game seems to also have frozen. Great game. Yeah, game is not responding. It's now crashed. Let's uh, try this one more time, shall we? Look at this. You can know a whole customization thing. For me, at least up until now, gameplay-wise, it is pretty smooth. Yeah, it's not bad if it works. I'm just going to go for a shotgun because that uh, then at least do kablamo when uh, somebody's close to me, right? Oh, so now we're on the inside trying to defend the location. Is that what's going on here? I guess so. And the music is even fading out for the for the extra excitement or something, question mark, I guess, maybe. Oh, I heard somebody like smash door or something. Oh, shit. Ow, ow, ow. I already died. It's the first thing I did. Oh, but now I'm in map mode. I can see you. I can actually see you walking oh. around. Oh, never mind. <laughs> this is really interesting, though. It's an interesting perspective. Right? All, we all died. <laughs> great, great. The maps are always different. It's I, a cool yeah. thought, but it, it feels very early access. It's very weird to just have to sit there in that map view, see any grenades or anything. Yeah, no, me neither. I, I tried to bring a grenade last time, but there were none, so... I have the option of barbed wire or barbed wire. I'm gonna take the barbed wire, yeah. please. That was pretty much my only choice, too. Yeah, like, everybody already took the good stuff, apparently. Yeah, Nathan, that's all you, man. Uh, I don't even know where they're gonna be coming from. No, that's my whole point. Like, ah! You died? I died already. Oh, no. They're Dude. here. I they're also home. died. I think I hit him once. I hope at least I did something. It does feel a little weird where the setup almost takes longer than the actual game we're playing, right? Yeah. Give me a, give me a pistol. Oh man, can people not stand in front of this? Can, can go away or something. Get like a hobby. It seems to be like different styles on the maps too. Like they're procedurally generated, but they have like cool different styles. It even feels like a completely different map on a, on a whole nother level. Yeah, like all in all, the idea of this game is so awesome that I, I really want it to be good. It's just way early access. It's just way, way early access. So I feel like sadly we can't recommend this in this state. Can you draw me a line where I have to go? Uh, here? Uh, there is barbed wire in front of my face. Um, well, <laughs> I, th I think that line. Wait, did there. everybody. Wait, he shot me through the door? Hey, what? Where are you? I am back in the main menu. I am also back in the main nope, menu. Nope, you don't exist anymore, according to the game. I can't. Even refreshing doesn't work. What the hell is this game, dude? Yeah, so what we could also, like, go here, right? And then, but when we have to take a charge. Yeah, I don't have the actual thing to set it off, though. Are you kidding me? I finally killed someone, though. Yeah, you did it. You are amazing. <laughs> Woo! You've reached the end of this month's humble choice first look extravaganza. Are you getting the bundle or are you skipping a month? Please let me know in the comments down below if any of these games spoke to you the way they did to me. This month was more surprising than I anticipated. And as always, if you like what you saw here, please like, subscribe, and join the cubicle. It really helps. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Time Lie, Wrath, and Turnip Boy, of course. Those are three amazing games, but I have more things to play. There's just so much to play. Oh god, oh god. <laughs>